Order. We will move forward to question number eight, Grant Robertson. Thank you very much, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Finance. Does he stand by his statement with regard to the 2014-15 surplus target that, quote, we will achieve one? Uh, order. Honourable Bill English. Uh, Mr Speaker, yes, but we won't know for sure until the government's... Annual accounts are published late next year for the actual outcome for the 2014-15 year. Uh, as I said publicly this week, uh, last week, I believe the strength of the economy and constrained government spending can deliver a surplus when those accounts are published. I would note that that member, in his many spokesman roles over the last six years, has opposed every measure the government has taken to control spending. That's right. Yeah. Question, Mr. Speaker. So, order. Order. Supplementary question, Grant Robertson. Who is correct? Him who continues to claim a surplus will be achieved, or the Prime Minister who now acknowledges that the surplus has disappeared? Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker, the member will have to get a bit more familiar with the facts if he's going to, oh, yeah. if he's going to um, be the finance spokesman. But the, situate, the uh, numbers, of course, will be discussed at the half-year update. As we've indicated, uh, weakness in international dairy prices is likely to flow through to government revenue in the shorter term. We have confidence we can achieve surplus uh, for the 14-15 year, but we won't know that for sure until about October next year. Supplementary question, Grant Robertson. In light of that answer, does he agree with his own statement that lower commodity prices mean the economy will not grow as fast as expected? Or does he agree with the Prime Minister that dairy prices will rebound and, quote, fundamentally the pathway is going to be back the other way? Honourable Mr. Bill English. Speaker, we certainly have confidence in the future track for dairy prices in New Zealand. And I know the opposition parties believe that dairy has done too well. Well, let's try what it's like when the prices are down. Actually, it would be good if the dairy industry was successful, good for the New Zealand economy. Yeah, yeah. Question, Mr. Speaker. Supplementary question, Grant Robertson. When the Prime Minister said there were other options to achieving surplus in the face of a $5 billion hit from lower commodity prices, did he mean cutting spending? And if so, what programmes will be cut to ensure he makes his meagre surplus? Uh, uh, Honourable well, Bill English. Mr Speaker, the uh, economy has a broad base of growth at the moment, and the other options for achieving surplus are simply that the strength of the rest of the economy, whether it's through uh, high commodity prices for quite a range of New Zealand products, a burgeoning IT sector, a big inflow of New Zealanders coming back from Australia, all of these things will help to offset the impact of lower dairy prices on the government's books. But actually the growth outlook for New Zealand is probably improving slightly as we head into a more sustainable economic cycle than we've had for some time. Supplementary question. Order. Order. Supplementary question. The right honourable Prime Minister. Has, has the Minister of Finance seen any reports that uh, it's an unusual thing uh, to get control of the numbers and to have to understand and digest the numbers uh, when you're a person who uh, twice has failed to get the numbers. Order. Order. <laughs> Order. That question is certainly out of order, but I'll take a supplementary, supplementary question. Robinson. Here's a number. I've got a number for you, Bill, 22. Okay. That's the number for you, Bill. OK. Order. 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 I will now look forward to the supplementary question. In supplementary Mr. question, Grant Robertson. Mr Speaker, in light of his promise first made in 2011 of a, quote, meaningful surplus for 2014-15, what dollar figure will constitute a meaningful surplus? Well, Mr. Honourable Speaker, Bill English. You'll have to wait for the out turn. But what we do know is that in the Labor caucus, one MP who promised Grant Robertson a vote didn't deliver it, and that changed the leadership of the Labor Party. Order. So a small number can Order. make a big... Order. I don't think there's any... <laughs> no. Point of order, Grant Robertson. Point of that highly irrelevant answer, Mr Speaker. Well, can I get another supplementary question? <laughs> the member may, and the, uh, the uh, latter part was not helpful to the order of the House, I accept, but the member... Um, <laughs> 
I'm on, I'm on my feet. If the member hadn't noticed, he's raised a point of order and said the answer was irrelevant. I think the answer did address the question. He simply said, I'm not prepared to put a, a dollar figure on it until the, uh, the deaf use is released later. So, uh, further, uh, question number nine, Jonathan Young. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the 